Yo, 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 what's up? You're watching Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day. I want to thank you very much for clicking on my video. Today, we're going to be breaking down how to team wipe or how to get out of this particular situation. I'm playing solo duos to give you a backstory, and I know that there's two people in front of me, and I want to prevent them from outflanking me or pinching me. All right, so we're going to break it down. First, I'm using cover. I see so many people not using cover. As you can see, I have a rock. <laughs> and I can use in order to make sure that I don't get shot. All right, they're currently in front of me. I see the first guy running out in the open, so I swing over to him. I've got look where I've got my centering. It's about chest high because I want to make sure that I'm constantly doing damage. And the reason I specifically point that out is because later in this video you're going to see that I don't do that, and it could have almost cost me. As soon as as soon as I see the next guy. I immediately switch off because the current the first guy is still running trying to dodge and, and evade bullets he's not an immediate threat but the guy that's closest to me is and I also have the thought process if I can down this guy and then not thirst him as long as he's not self resing then I can create a state of emergency for the teammate to try and get the res allow me to have him out in the open and also downing him will create the one on one situation that I need and then last but not least the way that you can play solo duos, trios, or quads is making sure that you're fighting them separated. As you can see, they're completely split, uh, split apart. This is the exact situation I want. I can take one, fight the other one after the first one's down. Quickly, he's going to go down. All right, so now I step back around cover. Like I said, I don't want to continue to thirst him because I want to ensure that I can, A, if played up if I need to, B, reload my gun if I need to, and then figure out where the other person is, the other teammate is. Thirsting him is not going to do me any good if I die right after I thirst him. We want to get both kills, not just one. So I go ahead, I pop a reload. I look, I see him right there. I pop him a couple times. And right there, you saw the glint. I saw it. I'm not about to peek the same spot. Another issue that people have all the time is that they'll peek the same spot. So instead of me going to the left, which is where he's most definitely going to be looking, I'm going to go to the right because he's hard scoping. That glint show tells me that he's been he's aiming down sights, he's scoped in for at least two seconds because that's when the glint comes up. It's two to three seconds of being scoped in. So when you have the scope, as you already know, it's hard to see what's going on around you. So I'm going to pop off to the right where he can't see me. And if he can, now he's got to move his cursor over when I'm already there. All right, so I can see that he is going to be moving through the train. And this is what I was talking about. Right here. See where my cursor is? If he steps out, he's already got me beat if he's aiming chest high because I'm aiming where his feet will be. We need to be aiming at where his chest and head will be to give us the edge that we need. But I do go Dang. up and I get the kill. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one.